Pat McAuliffe, Director of Fire Science and EMS here at Collin College. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the proper use of portable fire extinguishers. Before using an extinguisher, it's important to determine what type of fire is involved. Type A, which includes wood, paper, trash, and even plastics. Type B, which includes flammable liquids, oils, and greases. Type C, which includes energized electrical equipment. And Class D, which includes combustible metals such as zirconium, titanium, and potassium. When you select a fire extinguisher, the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that the fire extinguisher is ready for use. You can do that by simply looking at the gauge on the extinguisher and noting that the arrow is in the green position. This would tell you that the extinguisher is ready for use. When we use an extinguisher, we follow the acronym PASS, P-A-S-S, -S, which stands for Pull, Aim, Squeeze, and Sweep. Pull the pin out of the handle, aim the, the nozzle at the base of the fire, squeeze the handle, and sweep the nozzle left to right to make sure that you're covering the entire fire area. Once you have effectively extinguished the fire, do not replace the extinguisher back into the cabinet. The extinguisher will lose its charge over a period of time and would not be ready for the next person to use it some days later. Be sure and call Plan Ops in the event that you have a fire and let them know that there could be some damage to the property.